Hi, it's Danny Starr from TLC Me, and I am with Chris and Lisa from Long Lost Family. We are so excited that you guys took the time to sit down with us. Thank Happy you. Happy to be here. What advice would you give me if I'm looking for a long lost family member? Well, I think the first thing and the easiest thing is to upload your DNA sample to the Ancestry database. I think there's 30 million yeah, people in the database, so you never know what sort of connection you could make there, whether it be a distant cousin or something that could lead you back to who you're looking for. And then social media, obviously, is a fantastic tool. When I found my mom, it was in the early 90s, and this was before the internet, so right. it was much more difficult to do it back then. Today, you know, it's, it's keystrokes. There's so many people putting themselves out there uh, that, that it's, a, it's a great resource to use. And then emotionally, prepare yourself for everything and expect nothing because, you know, you never know what you're going to find. You're never going to know what that truth is. I always tell people just, yeah, be prepared for your worst case scenario and your best case scenario. After that, I say, give me all your documentation. Get anything that you have, any sort of um, amended birth certificates, petition for, if you've petitioned for non-identifying information, give me that. Any sort of physical documentation, I mean, birth dates, places. Mm -hmm. Quiz your family members on, you know, la where this person was last seen. You know, anything like that because it's weird how with time, some things will come out and you'll go, oh, I didn't remember that part. Mm -hmm. um, like Chris says, going to using social media and, and, um, and uh, Ancestry DNA is a great, great thing to do. Um, but, you know, more than that, it's not about the nuts and bolts of it, it's about if it's the right time for you too. Right. You know, can you handle what's out there? Because you never know what it is. Yeah, it's amazing because you, you talked about being prepared, but it seems so ironic. Like, how do you prepare? for the unknown, you know? You kind of can't. Right. You can't. But I always, I try to ask people, what what do you want out of this? Yeah. What, what are you needing from this? And if you just have a curiosity and you wanted to know your, you know, your genetic background or, you know, that's okay. But you got to be really honest and truthful. Are you looking for a parent? Are you looking for a mom or a dad? Right. What, why are you doing this? So you sort of have to have a sort of reality check. I'm a big believer in fate, so I always say that things happen how they're supposed to happen, when they're supposed to happen. And so, you know, like Lisa was saying, you have to be ready to make this discovery. And you, you have to examine why you're looking, too. You know, I mean, the, the root of the thing is never the thing itself. You're not looking because you want to find it. You're looking for something because you want to fill some space within you. You want some answers to some questions that you have always wondered about. Chris and Lisa, thank you so much for the work that you do, and thank you for taking the time to talk to me.